Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a pivot table, but adding a formula outside of the pivot table to provide a little more information in analyzing projects and being able to filter that to see what phases of the projects are done. And we're going to use a little conditional formatting and also to highlight it and make it look a little nicer. So let's take a look and see how we can do that in Excel. So here we have a table of seven projects, uh, the person to which they are assigned, the phases could be up to five different phases, the cost of that phase, and whether that phase is completed or not. So we're going to create a pivot table from this. And very simply, you can see I've made it a table. So if I go up to the Table Design tab, you can see that table is called Projects. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to select Pivot Table and I'm going to put it on a new worksheet and say OK. Now I'm going to put the assigned to in the filters, I'm going to put my cost in the values, and the project number, and then the phase, I'm going to move into the rows. I'm going to go into the design tab and change the layout to be in the tabular form, and I'm also going to repeat all item labels, so they're all showing, which will be helpful as you'll see going forward here. I'm also going to do a little formatting, so I'll right click here, go down to Value Field Settings, Number Format, and I'm going to go to Accounting and just say OK and OK so it looks more like dollars. So what I want to do is add a column here called Completed. And I'm going to widen that just a hair and I'm going to format it just like the rest of my pivot table there. Now what I want to do is check the project number and the phase number against my table here and if that project and phase is complete I want to return a yes here. If not, I'm going to return a no. So to do that I'm actually going to add another column to my table and I'm just going to call it concatenate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate the project number ampersand and the phase and I'm going to add that so I can pull that when I compare my pivot table here. So now I'm going to enter a formula and we're going to use the index and match formula, something very basic and simple, uh, to look up the project and phase into my table and pull out whether it's a yes or no and it's completed or not. So I'm going to start with equals index. Now what's my array? My array is going to be this table here. So I'll highlight that and you can say it's projects all comma. My row number is going to use the match function. And with a match function I'm going to concatenate and go back to my sheet 5 here. And I'm going to delete the sheet number because I don't need that here. I'm going to concatenate the project number comma and the phase number. So it's going to look that up, comma. What's my lookup array? I'll go back to my table here and I'm going to look it up in the concatenate column, comma. And my match type is going to be exact. I'll hit tab, close out my match formula, hit comma there. And now I'm back to my index formula. I put in my array, my row number, and now all I have to do is add column number. And I want to return column E, so that is column 5. I'm going to put a 5, close my parentheses, hit enter, and now for project 1 phase A I get a yes. And I'm going to double click on my autofill to copy that down. Now let's just check a couple. So project 1 phase A is a yes, so if I go over to my table, project 1 phase A I do have a yes. I'm going to go back to here, and let's check Project 2, Phase D, go back to my table, Project 2, Phase D, that's a no. So it looks like it's pulling the correct information. So let's just do a little cleanup here to make it look a little nicer. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to center it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this formula in an if error function. Go to N, comma, double quotes. And this way, if there's an error like you see in row 9, it'll just return a blank. And that makes it look a little bit nicer. 
Now, while I have this highlighted, I'm going to use a little conditional formatting to really have the yes or no's jump out. So I'll click on conditional formatting, new rule, and I use a formula to determine the cell formatting. And I'll say equals D4 equals yes. And my formatting for that is going to be bold. And my color, I'll make it green. And say OK and OK. And now all those yeses turn to green. And I'll select add another new rule for conditional formatting. And I'll say equals D4 equals no. My format here is also going to be bold, but I'm going to make this in red. And I'll say OK and OK. And now you can see everywhere there's a yes, I get it formatted in green. Where there's a no, I have it in red. Now, if I go up to my Assign To filter, and I'll say I want to select multiple items. If I just want to look at Ed's project, I say OK. And it'll show me just Ed's projects and how he has completed those. Or maybe I want to look at Ed and Mary's projects. And again, very simply, it'll show which phases of each project are complete and which are not. So that's how simply you can do that using pivot tables, conditional formatting, along with index and match in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.